Hey guys, it's me, Berna, from Proud Girls. This week, obviously, we're talking about love. And speaking of love, I just came back from the Love is Louder event, covering it for Seventeen Magazine. And Love is Louder is basically a campaign led by Brittany Snow that's all about letting the positive energy be louder and more influential than negative energy in the world. But it got me thinking, is there a kind of love out there that actually is loud? Like sound wave wise? Yes, PDA. It stands for public displays of awful. I mean annoying. I mean obnoxious. I mean I hate it. I mean affection. PDA is loud. Loud in the sense that you see it and you can't look away. It's like a train wreck. Loud in the sense that I hear it and I can't not dry heave. Loud in the sense that I literally want to go up to the offenders and pinch one of their ears and just Mm, turn it down like one might with the knob of a volume on a stereo just to gently you know literally tonight I was at the after party for this love is louder thing right and you know I'm schmoozing I'm rubbing elbows you know I'm, I'm holding my drink in my hand but I'm not drinking it because I'm too busy exchanging glances with all the attractive people there obviously but in the middle of all this chic and poshness this couple is just eating face they're just in the middle of the room straight up just like oh, I love you so much I have to lick your face in front of all these people and all that to me love is like a sweet melody but with PDA love is like a foghorn in an elevator a broken elevator, filled with clowns, making out. Guys, like this if PDA, like me, is not your jam. And comment it. Tell me, what's the worst PDA you've ever seen? Does it beat two people just getting down facially in the middle of 30 paparazzi like I saw tonight? Get a room.